Hello everybody and welcome back to some more banjo Tui. So last time we finished up Jolly Rogers Lagoon, or finished up meaning we got through as much of the world as we could at this point in the game. So we're getting ready to make preparations to go to World 5 today, but there's a couple of things that we got to do first. First thing I want to do is, the reason I'm here in the plateau, is we're actually going to go back to Glitter Gulch Mine, because there's something we can do here. Now that we have the Talon Torpedo that we learned in Jolly Roger's Lagoon, those of you who are astute may remember that there was a, a little Kazooie Rock underwater in one of these caverns. Well, now that we have the, uh, now that we have Talon Torpedo, we can actually destroy that. First thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna turbo train around this to open up the gate. Wait, that's the wrong way, isn't it? I can never remember which way you need to run. That's the wrong way. Okay, I was going the correct direction. Dog on it! I can fix this. I can fix this. Alright. I just went. It's in the waterfall cavern, and. I thought this would be the fastest way of getting there, but maybe I was wrong. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. This is where we want to be, the waterfall cavern. So that little Kazooie boulder there, we can use Talon Torpedo, boom, blow it up. And there's a little hole here we can swim in. And guess where this takes us. We're now in Hailfire Peaks, the icy side. This right here is World 7. So we've gone forward a couple of worlds, and this is an ice world of some sort. Now if you look, we can get a bit of a glance at some of the stuff that we can see in this world. As you can see, a lot of snow, a lot of ice. We can't actually leave this area, we are completely encased in the ice. What we can do, however, is there's a platform over here. It's a giant lock! An ice lock! It look familiar? If you picked up the ice key over in the Jinjo village... We can use it to open up this giant safe. Wow! You've caught the legendary Mega Globo! It's supposed to have really special magical powers! Yeah, you'll remember that Humba Wumba in the Isle of Hags wanted us to find the Mega Globo, and well, we just found it. There it is. Which means if we go and give it to her, we can unlock a new transformation, which is a very special transformation, and I think it would be very fitting to get it right before this upcoming world. For a variety of reasons. Anyhow, now we gotta get out of Glare Gulch Mine. So back here at the Pine Grove in the Isle of Hags, let's pay Humba Wumba a visit and see what we can get with this Mega Globo. Me much surprised! You have the legendary Mega Globo! Want to give to Humba? Sure, there's no other way you can use it. Sure, I'll just throw it in! Look how big it is. Magic ready, jump in Wumba Pool! Wumba call this dragon! But what's changed? Kazooie now big heap dragon, burn many baddies! Yes, yeah, so this is actually a permanent transformation that you can get, or rather, not permanent. If we jump in the pool, she'll go back to being a bird. But we can actually take this transformation into any world. Kazooie is now a dragon. Her voice clips are deepened. As far as, like, what actually is different about the dragon, there are really only two differences. The first is that the generic peck attack when you're standing still gets replaced with this. Sorry, gotta step off the mat. Turns into a dragon breath attack. 
which is much more useful, although still not great because you have to use it while standing still. But the big difference that's changed is with Dragon Kazooie, you have unlimited fire eggs. Now, fire eggs aren't all that great, but they do deal more damage than regular eggs, so it could be nice, and it's just kind of cool to use Kazooie as a dragon. I'll be using Dragon Kazooie for at least the next world, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use Dragon Kazooie for the whole game. It's not an amazing benefit, and I kind of prefer Kazooie's regular sound effects more. Anyhow, before we do anything else, I want to go back into Witchy World and see if Madame Grunty will give us the prize. Anyhow, now that we have the Talon Torpedo from Jolly Roger's Lagoon, we can explore the next part of the ILO Hags. It's not connected to the Clifftop. Clifftop is a branching path. Instead, there's this Kazooie Boulder underwater, and we now know what that signifies. Talon Torpedo! Alright. Let's see where this takes us now. This does not take us to another part of the Iowa Hags, but instead to another digger tunnel. What lies in wait up ahead? Klungo, revenge-seeking minion. Oh no, not you again! <laughs> Mistress said Klungo must stop you or I get more PT. We'll give you a beating, too. No, Klungo win this time. Has new potion to try. So now we fight Klungo again. So he has one of two new potions that he can use. He chose the blue one. Okay, you're not know which is real, Klungo. So for this potion, the blue potion, he will make clones of himself. Uh, whichever one of him is, like, standing there for the longest will be the real him, which I think is that one. Yep. This part is still the same. He's still gonna chuck potions, but he has a little bit of a better aim. Still, as long as you keep moving, no big deal. Yeah, so the first one ran away, the second one ran away. The one who did not run away from the main one, that's the real one. Get back here. That's a, this one is probably the toughest potion to deal with, though. Just because there's more opportunity for him to damage you with the multiple clones. There we go. Still very easy boss, though. But the blue potion is probably the trickiest one to deal with. Baron Bird beats poor Klungo again. It can't be good for your health, Klungo. Why not retire? No, Mistress needs me. Klungo return for more beatings, then work on new potion. What a guy. Get yourself a henchman like Klungo, who's loyal to a fault. Alright, well this is the digger tunnel uh, ad exit that's not underwater, so this is the one we're going out to, to the new area. Welcome to the Wasteland. First thing we're going to do is there's a new jam jar silo here. We only need 315 notes. We have more than enough. Clockwork Kazooie Eggs. The ultimate egg for you to hold. A clockwork bomb that's remote controlled. This is the final egg type in the game. That'll be all. Dismissed. So these are Clockwork Kazooie Eggs, and, um, they are really good. So if you shoot one... Use the control stick to move the bomb around and detonate it by pressing B! It makes a little Clockwork Kazooie that we can move around, and it can even jump. It's very tiny, and it blows up when it gets hit, or you can blow it up remotely by pressing the B button. Might not sound that good, but it's got a lot of utility in the game. Uh, it can go for really tiny holes, you can blow up enemies from a far distance, but the biggest thing that it can do is that it can pick up items for you, and because it's an egg that you shoot, 
you can shoot it to far away platforms and skip out on some platforming that you might have to do. So you can actually use these to sequence break a ton of jiggies. I'm gonna try to avoid sequence breaking in this game, but I'll kind of point out wherever it's possible. So we've got a giant dinosaur head here. But it's T for rock and we can't get past it. Burger bean in the way. <laughs> the d the drill machine just took a straight upward path through that wall. That is definitely too high for us to reach. I'll take that. You blew up my bomb. If we go up here, there are a couple of notes note bundles for us to pick up. Also, there are two Jinjos here. One of them is real, and the other is a Minjo. Well, you know how to test. Alright, that's the real one. That's the Minjo. Take that. And we've saved five of the Black Jinjo family. Nice! And there's one other part to the wasteland here. This strange-looking blue part of the wall is actually a tiny little hallway. And this is a very strange place. This here is the entrance to the final of the main worlds. You might be wondering, what the heck? Well, you'll just... It's a very weird place to come across if you don't know where it's gonna take you. Anyhow, there are two note bundles here, and I believe that's all of the notes in the ILO hags. There might be a couple in the final area, but I think that's by and large most of the notes. Anyhow. Now we can open up the next world. It is written that 20 jiggies are required to open this door. We have, like, double that. You have enough jiggies to attempt my challenge. Do you wish to walk to my sacred temple? Yes. Yeah, we almost have twice the amount of Jiggies needed to open up World 5. This is easy. So as always, take a look at the kind of place we'll be going to. You're also noticing the puzzles are getting a little bit trickier. More pieces to fill in. Honestly, the worst part of this minigame is just the weird hit detection. <laughs> There we go! You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 5, so now the Great One will show you the way. Power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy. Ouch. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> Gonna need some dental work after that. Dino's teeth are no more, so we can enter its mouth. You are indeed the chosen one. You also have enough Jiggies to attempt Jiggy Wiggy's challenge. Wait, where are you going? Bro, I, I don't want to open up the next world. Ilo Hags, wooded hollow. So now we can work to the wasteland, it's signified by a dinosaur's head. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell, World 5 is about dinosaurs. 
And we're about to see just how crazy big some of the worlds in this game can be. The other worlds have been fairly sizable, but this one dwarfs them all. Welcome to Pterodactyland. So, make sure you grab the warp right there, and... Yeah. This world's pretty big. Massive, massive... Massive increase of size compared to the previous worlds. So we got some little dinosaur enemies here. They're not too bad to take out. But this world is massive, and not only is it like large and radius, it is tall. There's a lot of climbing that we need to do in this world. Anyhow, the first thing we want to do, shoot a grenade egg into that switch. Grenade eggs are heavy, so they'll push the switch and open up that gate. Now, I think if you aim correctly, you can get a clockwork egg up there to collect the ginger early, but we're gonna have to wait till we can find a flight pad. First thing we're gonna do is go around this way. Pick up these notes, and at the top of here is our first jam jar silo. We wanna get this as soon as possible. Only need free 90 notes. We have more than enough. Springy step shoes. High up ledges are out of reach. A jump to get there I'll now teach. Choose your spot with the greatest care. Only one jump for the bird and bear. That'll be all. Dismissed. So we've seen these shoes a couple of times. Oh man, they disappeared. Yeah, those little purple shoes with the springs on them we can now use. And when we pick them up, we can basically hop around and then we get one really big jump. So, that's- it's kind of a cool item. I think it's well used in the game. Alright, now let's start exploring some of the caves. And here... is the train station for Pterodactyland. We'll be using this train station kind of a lot. Oh hey, it's a Jean Joe. Psych, it's a Mean Joe. Generally speaking, if there's a Jean Joe just kind of lying out, it's probably a Mean Joe. Oh hey, it's a caveman! A friendly caveman! Hey, bro, what the- Ouch! You never get jiggy from Rocknuts Tribe. We got big, tough armor. We don't have to be a jerk about it. So unlike the other train stations, the switch to open up the train station is not actually in the train station. It's somewhere else in the level. Also, it actually has a train station, unlike the last world. Maya Hem Temple and Jolly Rogers Lagoon do not have train stations, and there's one other world that doesn't either. But it actually makes sense why there's no train station for that world. Anyhow, yeah, there's a lot of exploring to do in this one. And this is probably the first world that I'll have to break up into multiple recording sessions. Hey, dude. You not come past. No one gets in Oogle Boogle Cave. They bad men. Why is that, then? We Unga Bungas want to rule all Pterodactyl land. Oogles want to share. They bad. Makes sense. Yeah, you'll remember back in World 1 of the Mayahem Temple, we snuck into Ungabunga's cave to steal Targetan's priceless relic vini back. Yep, this is World 5, Pterodactyland, home of Ungabunga's cave. You dumb, not listen, no one get in cave. I'll be back. Yeah, he's actually a good bodyguard and we can't get past him. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> Let's fire a grenade egg at him. Me not care about explosions. Okay, I guess we're not. Let's let's avoid climbing for now. We can Talon trot up this slope. There's a cave up here. This is quite the cave. This is the Styracosaurus family cave. Or the Styracosaurus. And boy, this is one doozy of a cave. Yeah, I feel like Dragon Kazooie kind of fits the aesthetic of Pterodactyland a bit. I like it. Anyhow, we've got a dino there, a tiny dino there, and a massive dino up there. Boss time? <laughs> Go away, leave Scrotty alone. Well, if that's how you greet visitors. Why are you so sad? 
My family isn't keeping too well. Now you've done it, Banjo. Just wait until you hear all the problems she wants us to fix. Look at my eldest, Scrat. He's very sickly and needs a doctor urgently. Ah, uh, which doctor? I don't care. Any doctor will do. I've heard there's a crazy shaman that lives on the cliff top who might help. Scrit here was out walking one day, and he came back this size. Now he's too small to be a proper dinosaur. Scrut has gone missing. She took some money from my purse and headed off to the th train station. So many problems. I told you so, Banjo. Oh, we'll see what we can do. Wonderful. It's nice to know not every character in this game is bad. <laughs> yeah, well, no, even the good characters are morally ambiguous at times. Yeah, this is one of the longest side quests in the entire game, and many people hate it, but... Well, admittedly, it's very long. It's, it's, it's an interesting one. Please help Scrotty's poor children. Hey, bro. What's up? Oh. I do feel slightly unwell. It must have been that caveman I ate. Or perhaps it was the pterodactyl dun. That'll do it. I do not recommend eating pterodactyl dun. Boo hoo hoo! I'm so small and all the girls laugh at me! Aw. I've been there, buddy. Under this boulder is a mumbo pad. Definitely destroy that. We're gonna need to bring mumbo in here at some point. And under this boulder... It's a shock jump disc. There's also some split up pads in here. Briga! Remember that just Kazooie can jump higher from the shock jump discs than Kazooie and Banjo. With this much height, we can get a little honeycomb piece. Uh huh. All right. Well, we're not gonna stay split up if we can all at all avoid it, especially when we still have to explore this massive world. 